Hello there, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Giselle and I love posting fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Now I know it's been a minute since I've posted and I want to thank you guys all for sticking with me and being patient with me. <laughs> I've had a few things going on in the background and I just haven't been able to <sighs> find the balance with everything. Um, but today I am back with one of my favorite topics of all time. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you will know that I love looks like that with all my heart. And today I'm going to show you guys a few things that I picked up during the friends and family event that happened not too long ago. I just, I didn't get to film it on time, but I also want to share with you guys some new products that I've discovered from them that I am just like obsessed over and now that the holiday season is coming it's going to be the perfect time to snatch these up not just for yourself but also for your loved ones so without further ado let's get started Okay, so I figured I'd first show you guys and just mention a few new products that I'm obsessed with and then I'll just go ahead and show you my restocks. So for this first product, if you watched my previous looks at haul, you'll know that I picked this up as a trial size and I told you guys that I'd follow up and let you know how I feel about it. This is the Aqua Roetier uh, Moisture Prep Essence. <laughs> I know I totally murdered that name, but I picked this up in a 1.3 um, fluid size because it was on sale last time that I did some shopping and I was very curious about this because I've been really into essences and toners lately. I've noticed a huge difference with just adding that extra product onto my skin during a routine and honestly, this product you guys has blown my freaking mind so much so that I picked up the full size, okay? This product is just, let me tell you something. This product, I would honestly say, stands very tall next to the SK2 Essence, which if you guys know or are familiar with it, you'll know that that product is like $100 um, and it's not even the full size. This is a five ounce bottle. Okay, and it retails, I believe it was like $26 for the full size, which had I known the first time, I think I would have just gone for the full size. But if you guys are curious like me, pick up the little one first and just try it out. Now, when you go on the website, you'll see that this has mixed reviews and it does for good reason. The product itself, it's, it's described as a gel, right? So that seems to not really jive with a lot of people. I don't think it's like a gel, you know, when I hear gel, I think of like shaving cream or like health hair gel. Um, this to me is like thick water, <laughs> if that makes sense. More of like a kind of like a syrup kind of consistency, you know, um, and because of that, it does have like a, a slight sticky feel to it, a little tacky even. Um, when you put it on the skin, you do feel like a residue, but before you freak out, but okay, when it dries down, it's gone. You don't feel it anymore. And you really, really notice the difference on your skin. It makes your skin feel really plump, really hydrated. It gives your skin like a bit of like a tactile feel to it, which I love because that means that it's going to just hang on and stay put and not, you know, go anywhere. <laughs> Um, and I, I'm very happy that I took the plunge to try this out. I feel like this is one of those products that I will now keep going forward in rotation. So if you're looking for something that pretty much does what the SK2 does, uh, for a fraction of the cost, I highly recommend trying this out. Now the next product that I want to mention, I don't have them. Okay. So the next two products that I want to mention are masks from L'Occitane. I am just trying out their masks. Um, if you guys saw, again, my previous unboxing, you'll know that one of the things that I purchased was like a kit that came with trial size uh, masks that were, that were like pods. 
Oh my god, okay? I'm gonna insert pictures on the side so you guys can take a look. But the Immortel, is it Immortel? No, it's the Invigorating Face and Eye Mask uh, made from Province Melon. You guys, I am literally going to scoop that up right now because L'Occitane is running some pretty good offers online. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop that up. That mask, you guys, when it goes on, the texture of it is really light, but it's like really smoothing when you put it on. Like the texture of it is like, okay, you get, <laughs> I am so excited. If you guys remember the Smashbox original primers, okay, the original ones that when you put them on, it was almost like a silicone feeling on the skin, but it would just smooth you out completely. That is how this mask feels. But what I love about this mask, if you guys didn't pick it up by the title, it is a face and eye mask, okay? It is a two-in-one. And one thing you are going to learn about me very, very quickly is that I love myself a multitasking product, okay? Having a face and eye mask is such a game changer, especially to you ladies who have kids or, you know, are all like really career motivated and you just don't really have a lot of time to dedicate to individual products. This mask, I'm telling you, just using it once, my skin just had such a 180 turn by using it. And my eyes, listen, ever since I started using under eye concealer, my eyes just get really dry. And by the end of the day, when I've taken off all my makeup, my skin really is like shouting for hydration. And using that mask was just phenomenal knowing that i could just put it on my entire face and just relax and just let it soak in all the goodness i i need it when i went to pick it up it was sold out and that's the only reason why i don't have the container to show it to you guys today and the second mask that i want to mention is the soothing mask this one is different in the sense that it's like a yogurt texture okay so the face and eye mask, when you put it on, it, it really feels like you have like a layer of protection on your skin. Like you feel like you're putting on like a coat and it's just like keeping your face like perfectly still. Like it's just giving you everything that you need. And when you take it off, your skin looks brighter. It looks tighter. Your, your pores are like closed and it just feels like you don't need anything else. Like when, after I did that mask, even for my under eyes, which I usually always have to put on at least moisturizer, it felt like I didn't need anything else. And that to me speaks volumes on a product, okay? This soothing mask, it's a purple one. It's made with black currants and it's, the texture is like yogurt. Like when, <laughs> when I opened the pod, it literally looked like I was about to have like, like a, like a Chobani blueberry yogurt, but it was so so nourishing that i i was sold and i was really sad that i only had one pod to use because now that my skin is changing from summer to winter and it's starting to get exposed to colder air i've noticed a lot of redness starting to come through again and my skin is kind of going through that oily and dry phase at the same time it's like my skin doesn't know what to do and i'm telling you the day that i use that mask I left it on I just it literally felt like a homemade mask which I loved by the way and when I took it off my skin wasn't red I usually get red like right here like right in the tips of my cheeks the redness was gone it was completely smooth and I like I really it felt like a hug for my face like I think that is the best way to describe it and I know it may sound a little crazy but it literally just felt like my face was just like secure. Like I, I knew that once I took it off that I, I wouldn't need anything else. And literally when I washed it off, I was just like, hmm. like it felt homey, you know? It just felt like I took the time to make the mask in a little container and put it on and wash it off. And I love that. I love when products feel clean, when they feel natural. And when you see an actual positive result, you guys, if <laughs> if there's anything from all these products that I mentioned, try out the masks. Even if you just get the little pods that are like a, 
Honestly, you can stretch the pods for two uses. I was selfish with mine and I used all of, all of it up the first time. I should have saved them. But you can really stretch them for two uses. So even then, I think the pods are like $6. Even then, I think they're really, really worth it before you invest in a full-size jar. But I'm telling you guys, oh, oh my god. Like, <laughs> you have to try that. Okay, now moving on to the next product. If you already have an essence that you are committed to and you love and you're not looking for something different, I commend you. If you are looking for a different toner and you want to try something new, I highly recommend the Immortal Precious Essential Water. That, I know the essential water sounds like an essence, but it's not, it's a toner. The only reason why I didn't pick that up is because I have my fresh toner at the moment that I'm currently using and getting through and I literally just opened it not too long ago. So I'm not gonna need a toner anytime soon, but that toner, you guys, it smells amazing. It has that signature Immortel scent from L'Occitane, which if you're not familiar with that scent, you need to go to a store and have them show it to you. It's literally one of their signature scents. It's probably the main scent that they're known for, ironically. And it's in all of their signature Immortel collection products. It is a fresh, earthy, just natural scent. And it's it can transition a little into like slightly manly, but in a good way, you know? It just, it feels like you took some leaves and you crumbled them up and you smelled them and there's like something extra to it it just feels like mm, you know <laughs> but i highly recommend that toner it's one of my favorite toners i always go back to it i wanted to get the mini one because again i'm using my my fresh one but the mini one was sold out and i didn't want to get a big one and then just have it sit in my drawer for a little bit i'm trying to be a little more conscious with the products that i pick up and spend money on so that's the only reason why i don't have it but you guys, if you're looking for a new toner um, and you want to try something different and not just like rotate the same products that you use, I highly, highly, highly recommend trying that one out. It does a great job at cleaning the skin, tightening the skin, um, bringing, making your pores look smaller. Um, it's just, and it smells amazing and it's incredibly, incredibly hydrating. When you put it on your skin, it doesn't feel like it's being like, treated it just feels like you're putting water on your skin and i love when you have products that literally just feel like your skin is drinking a glass of water that's what i feel with this essence and i think that's why i'm addicted to it at the moment it's just because my skin again just feels like it's getting like a full like <laughs> and i'm all about that <laughs> before i get into the products that are next to me i also want to bring up that L'Occitane at the moment has advent calendars ladies if you are not familiar with the brand at all and you don't know where to start or if you just want to try out different things, I highly, highly, highly recommend taking advantage of the advent calendars that they bring out during the holiday season. They have two. They have the basic one that's about $80 and it has a bunch of little sample size products in it for you to really test them out. Or you can go for the premium advent calendar that they offer. That one's a little pricier this year. That one I think is 140 instead of the usual 120. But they are including deluxe size samples in that one. And they are including more of their um, pricier items in that one. And they do have a few uh, perfumes in it as well. So if you're looking to try a little bit of everything, I would recommend that one more just because the higher ticketed items are in that one. But if you're just curious um, and you just want to dip your toes on everything, I recommend the basic one first. You know, I think it's a great collection of their most well-known items and you're able to try them out at your own pace. One of the products that I want to bring up to you guys that I haven't mentioned, I don't think yet, is the Immortel Eye Balm. Okay, so I believe they have an eye cream, an eye balm, and an eye oil. I may be wrong about that, um, but I always go back to the eye balm just because now during the winter that my skin is drying up so, so much, um, I like kind of having like 
a different like day product and a night product and I like my night products to be a lot more concentrated or saturated per se and I just feel like this eye balm is so so great I'm almost at like I'm at the end of it already I don't know if you guys can see I'm scraping on the sides of the jar now because it just feels like when you put it on it feels like you're wearing an eye mask to go to sleep and it does such a great job of soaking in to the skin and not leaving any residue and sometimes you just you need your your creams to do a little heavy lifting for you you and being that it's an anti-aging product it also helps with the fine lines and wrinkles around the eye which to me you know i'm in my late 20s turning 30 fairly soon you know <laughs> if i can start managing the wrinkles now by all means 100 percent and this little jar is gonna last you a long long time because you only need a little bit literally like i use the tip of my pinky to scrape out from the sides i rub it on both my fingertips and do -do 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 -do, and that's it that's all you need this will last you it's pricey but it's gonna last you a long time so if you guys are looking for a new eye cream or just like a, a night cream or any you know anything like that I highly recommend trying the eye balm. You will not regret it. You're going to fall in love with it. And it also has the Immortal Signature scent. And it's just like, it's everything. It's everything you need in one. <laughs> okay, now speaking of that Signature Immortal scent, if you guys watched my previous L'Occitane video, you will know that I scooped up the L'Occitane um, Serum in Cream Youth Hand Cream. I am obsessed with this and I'm incredibly happy that I picked it up and I really want you guys to give this a shot. You know, normally when it comes to anti-aging products, we usually focus on the face and neck and we leave our hands unattended. And if you know, as you get older, <laughs> your hands also give off your age. And I think this is just such a great, great product for your hands. You really do feel the difference when you wear this as opposed to typical hand cream. And you also see the difference in your hands. Your hands look youthful, they look brighter, the skin feels a lot more elastic. And I've been using this sparingly because it is a little costly. I believe it's about $44 for the jar, but I couldn't contain myself and I restocked it. <laughs> I got a brand new one here just waiting to be opened up. But I got another one because I, I wanted to give myself a little more freedom to use this one. Lately what I've been doing is just using it at night when I know that it's going to stay on for a while. But now I'm going to start using it a little more freely because I, I really appreciate the effects of this on the skin for my hands. So if you guys are looking to indulge a little bit and take care of your hands, scoop this one up. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Okay, now speaking of the Immortal collection, I might as well just do this quickly. I picked up, oh no, I left it in the bathroom, I guess. Um, but I also stocked up on the Immortal Divine Foaming Cleansing Cream. You guys, I'm almost out of the other one. It's in the bathroom. Let me just take it out of the container so you guys can see it. I am absolutely in love with this face wash. This is what it looks like. You'll you'll know that the Immortel collection has a signature yellow color to it. That's also, I just love it. It's bright, energetic, youthful, and that, that's literally what the products do for your skin, and I, I love that. But this face wash, you guys, it's so luxurious and expensive, and it just, you really feel like you're giving yourself a spa moment when you use this product. It, the smallest, smallest amount goes a long way. It has a rich, foamy, creamy lather. It smells incredible with the Immortal scent as well. And it's also anti-aging. So like, you can't go wrong with it, you know? And it also does a great job at removing your makeup. I have to, I have to point that out as well because, listen, multitasking products, ladies, 100%. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you guys are looking to invest in an anti-aging face wash, I highly, highly recommend this one. You will not be disappointed and it will last you a long time because you don't have to use a lot of it, which I love. But now I look forward to washing my face just because I know it's going to be like a quick little me moment, you know? And sometimes after a long day, 
you know, taking the subway, walking around the city, you just, you need to unwind, you know, and this lets you do that in just a quick and easy, just, you know, sometimes we just need that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Now the next product that I want to mention to you guys, this is the last Immortel product, I believe. Yes, this is the last Immortel product that I'm going to mention. I am always going to keep mentioning this product because I absolutely love it. And this is the Immortel Reset uh, Serum. Now, if, <laughs> if you guys aren't familiar with the serum, you need to be familiar with the serum. It is such a beautiful, beautiful product. It's one of those serums that really does give you immediate gratification. I personally, I'm like that. I need to use a product and see that it works. I, I'm not one of those people that can wait like months to start seeing effects. I'll lose my mind. I need to see it today or tomorrow, max. Otherwise, I'm like, like why am I wasting my time with it, you know? <laughs> this product literally gives you that overnight reset. It smells divine, first of all. But it also just gives your skin just like it like turns back the clock for you you know it gives your skin a brightness it gives your skin like a nice dewiness to it it gives your skin this nice like plump like luscious feel and it really makes your skin like smooth out and it just feels like it can take on anything like whenever i use this serum especially at night and i wake up the next day i can't believe how bright and youthful my skin looks and that's why i will always keep restocking this as long as they offer it because listen it's a it's a ride or die game changing product if you haven't tried it you need to <laughs> okay moving on the next product that i want to mention because now that it's getting colder, um, bath season, I feel like taking baths is going to be a lot more popular, I think. So I definitely want to mention the lavender foaming bath. I absolutely love this. I picked up the refill for it. Um, it just smells like you're in a lavender field, okay? And it does such a great job at creating bubbles in the tub. If you're someone that loves yourself a nice bubble bath, I highly recommend trying that out. I will usually mix that with a bath bomb from Lush and that just gives you the most luscious, luxurious just bath and you just wanna stay in there and never come out. <laughs> so if you haven't tried the bath products from Luxitan, I highly recommend trying the lavender one first because once you try that one you're going to be so hooked and curious you're going to want to try all the other ones okay <laughs> all right now moving into bath the next product that i want to recommend to you guys of course is the almond shower oil i picked up a refill as well <sighs> i can go on for hours about the almond shower oil it is such a dynamic product okay when it's as soon as it touches water it turns into this milky beautiful it doesn't lather okay like it doesn't get soapy 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 but it does have like a little a little action to it and honestly i love that like i will use this to shave in the shower and it leaves my skin feeling phenomenal and there's no razor burns there's no like razor bumps or anything like that it just it's another multitasking product that I think instead of using shower, uh, like shave gel or whatever, like try this instead and you are going to love it. Okay. I love using this product year round, especially in the winter because it's so hydrating. It's not stripping at all. And now that the season is going into when your skin needs all the hydration possible, I'm, I'm all about it. Hydration, hydration, hydration. <laughs> So if you have not tried the shower oil, you need to. I, For me, the almond collection is by far my favorite collection that Looks Like That offers. And I'm about to start showing you a few more products from that collection. So listen, by all means, go for it. Take a deep dive and you are going to love everything just as much as I do. <laughs> okay, so speaking of oils, the next product that I want to show you guys that I also restocked on is the almond supple oil 
you guys. This product is another one that's a staple for me year round because sometimes you just you want your skin to have that slight glisten to it, that slight like extra extra oomph, you know? This gives your skin such a radiant and healthy glow and just like mm, you know, like it, it makes you feel like you just got back from vacation or something because your skin just looks like it's just having just such a great time. <laughs> now what I love about this product is that a few pumps of it, you rub it in your hands, warm it up, and then when you put it on your skin, you'll see how such a little amount goes such a long, long way. And it, of course, smells divine. So if you're not someone that likes creams, if you're someone that likes oils better, I highly, highly recommend trying this out. This is one of their all-time best-selling products and for good reason. It is amazing. I'll leave it there. Amazing. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else do I have? Ah, more almond stuff. I gotta tell you guys, I love the almond collection. So this next product that I want to recommend to you guys is the Almond Body Balm. If you're not an oil person, this may be the next best thing for you. It is a bomb, okay, but when you, it's sealed. I wanted to show you guys the inside of it. I don't want to open it yet because I'm almost done with my body lotion at the moment and then I'm going to dive right into this one. But what I love about this body bomb, you guys, is that if you're not 100% into oils, okay, this bomb is basically the next best thing. You take it small little scoop with your finger rub it in your fingertips as well warm it up warm it warm it up and when you put it on your skin it just has a beautiful glide to it it's very creamy and it just it stretches as well so so much that you don't even need to use a lot and your skin just soaks it in and it doesn't leave any kind of residue and it makes your skin look very youthful very hydrated pretty much like alive like it just makes your skin feel like i'm here <laughs> let's do this and i i love products that do that i love products that don't require so much and they do so much okay so this is one of those that once you try it you're always going to go back and want to buy more but if you don't want something thick because that that's the issue with oils and bombs oils and bombs tend to be a little thicker than usual if you want something that's a little more watered down but just as efficient then i highly recommend the almond milk concentrate they have two sizes of this now this is the biggest size the seven ounce but they offer half of this they offer like a three and a half ounce now you guys this is also a ride or die for me i always have one of these around they offer refills for this too now which i think is just beautiful and what i love about this one is that it's less it's less sometimes less is more you know like if i'm going to wear something like a dress and i don't want to necessarily risk my skin having too much product i will wear this instead or like if i'm wearing tights or something like that this is a great alternative to the oil and the balm and it's just as nourishing it's just as um hydrating it smells divine and this will last you a long time as well um and you really don't have to be like strategic about where you place it you can just lather yourself up in it that's what i do sometimes i just head to toe all this and you will still see that it lasts you such a long time because you don't need a lot and that's what i love about good quality products is that you don't need a lot and it does so much for you okay so i wanted to show you guys all three in case all three right yeah i wanted to show you guys all three so that you know that there's a little bit for everyone okay if you're an oil person and you just love being smothered in it go for the almond oil if you want something that's not oil but gives you that same like oil effect and just like uh radiance go for the balm and if you don't want something that's thick, you want something that's a lot lighter, a lot easier to manage, go for the milk concentrate. Either way, you cannot go wrong, or you can be like me and get all three. <laughs> Loxitanga, just take my money. Just take it. <laughs> um, okay, so the next two almond products that I'm going to mention, and then I'm done with the almond collection. The first one is for the shower. Both of these products are going to be for the shower, by the way. 
This first one is the shower scrub. Now, if you watched any of my previous videos, I think I showed the previous packaging. That's the one that I had before. This is the new packaging for it. I hope that the product is the same. It has the same great reviews, so I hope that all they changed was the packaging. But this is great, like if you want exfoliation in the shower, but you don't have time to really dedicate to doing like a full body scrub, just put some of this on your loofah and it will lather like a body wash, which I love. It suds up great, perfectly. But as you're scrubbing, you'll notice that there's like a little extra something in there giving you that exfoliation. And that's why I love this. Don't expect this to be like some grainy, like full on, like dead skin is coming off kind of thing. No, this is more of like a touch up in between the week, like after you did like a long intense exfoliation and you just wanna keep up with it, you know, but you don't have all the time to dedicate to it. This is a great like in between exfoliating uh, option for the shower. I have to exfoliate a lot during the winter because my skin dries up and I'm always shedding. So I like to keep different kinds of um, exfoliating products in the shower with me all the time. So this is a great um, kind of like maintenance kind of scrub. So if you're looking for something different to try, go for this. And of course, it smells amazing as well. You can't go wrong. <laughs> and the next product that I want to mention is also an exfoliating product. But if you don't want to go for like a body wash, then I highly recommend the Almond Bar Scrub this you are going to feel girlfriend if you don't want something that's like a light scrub if you want something that's really gonna get in there and you kind of want that two-in-one product this is it okay and the back of it let me just show you guys really quick the back of it is like a little massage bar so I love when I don't want to pull out like a scrub and like really dedicate to that sometimes I'll just keep this in the shower too and I'll just pick this up and I'll rub this all over my body and this does the trick and mm, it smells great I love that they keep this open here so you can sniff it go to a store and pick this soap up and smell it I guarantee you're gonna be like I need more ah, I love it but yes, those are two other shower alternatives that I know you guys are going to just love. If you have any questions on these, let me know in the comments. I, I'm happy to answer them for you. <laughs> okay, final two products that I want to mention to you guys. The first one is a ride or die staple for me. I think it's great to have year round and I literally just restocked and got a whole brand new one. And it is the dry skin foot cream okay here's my new one here's the one that I'm almost halfway down this one when I start using this I just cannot put it down it's great of course for your feet but if you get the biggest size you can use this all over your body this is what I tend to take with me when I travel because instead of having a bunch of little things with you this can be put all over the body don't let it um, steer you the other way just because it says foot cream all it is is just really concentrated shea cream, okay? It has 15% shea butter in it, which is great. That means it's going to be amazing for those target areas, those dry patches that you have on your skin sometimes. Definitely, definitely scoop this up. You will not regret buying this. I'm telling you, I saw friends and family 20% off and I was like, I need it. <laughs> so that's the one thing that I want to recommend to you guys. And if you're looking for a fragrance and you want to try something different, L'Occitane has really, really great fragrances to try. I highly recommend the Herbe. And don't let the packaging fool you. Yes, this looks like a spring, summer fragrance. I love the straw detailing right here. I love that for the, the plastic that pulls up the fragrance, they used green. It, it kind of signifies the freshness of the perfume. But this is just, this is next level. Whenever I wear this, my boyfriend will always ask me if I'm wearing one of his colognes. And there's good reason for that, you know? This perfume, it's really fresh and really crisp, but there's like a depth to it that it's it's not citrus. Usually when you think fresh and crisp, you think like citrus or you think like maybe slightly woodsy, like a cedar or something. But this is different. This is like 
This is literally like if you were to cut the grass and step outside after it rains. It's, it's like a very clean, crisp, earthy, but really like green scent. And then it's topped off with like, like a powdery, slight finish to it. And I know that that kind of sounds a little weird, but I think that's why I love it because it's just so unique and different that every time you put it on, it's noticeable. And I love fragrances that do that. When you put on a fragrance and someone just cannot help but ask you, what are you wearing? To me, I just think that's one of the biggest compliments that you can ever get. And you will get that with this. And the longevity on this perfume is surprisingly really interesting. I, I'm pretty sure that this is a toilette and not an elder perfume. If it is an elder perfume, then that, that makes sense. But I think it's a toilette. I could be wrong though, but definitely give this a shot. Go in store and have an associate spray you with it. You will not be disappointed. And I, I don't see anyone who smells this not wanting to buy it. It's just such a different and complex perfume. And let me also add that throughout the day, it kind of changes and it becomes a lot more rich and, and deep in the notes. And throughout the day, different notes will start to show. And I love perfumes that do that. I love perfumes that evolve and don't just smell like the same all day. So if you're looking for something a little different to jazz up your fragrance collection, give this a shot. You won't be disappointed. Okay, but that wraps up um, all my L'Occitane uh, purchases and recommendations and favorites. I really wanted to share these with you guys because as you know, I got this in the mail today. The Sephora sale is coming up, you guys, and a lot of these products are also listed on the Sephora site. So if you're looking to get that 20% or up to 20% discount, I should say, depending on what tier you fall on, these would be great, great holiday picks to pick up to not just for yourself, but to also give away as gifts. But if you don't want to wait, I highly recommend checking out the offers on the L'Occitane website because right now they're running a build your own set um, promotion, which allows you to pick two items and then you get the third one for free, which, you know, depending on what you're buying, you may want to leverage out like what discount you would get depending on your tier at Sephora versus what you can get for free at L'Occitane because they're also offering free gifts depending on how much you spend. So a lot of times you have to take that into consideration because gifts, of course, they are free, but they do have a value to them. So I always take that into consideration when I'm making a purchase to see just where I'm getting the most bang for my buck, you know, because now that the holidays are coming, it's all about gifting and you're finding yourself having to buy gifts for all these people and you're like, oh my God, <laughs> like what am I going to do? So all those things come into play. So yeah. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to start filming recommendations for the Sephora sale very, very soon. I'm going to have a few videos coming out for that. So if you don't want to miss that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already so you can be one of the first ones to see. I want to get these videos out quickly so that you guys can start building your carts and kind of having an idea of what you're going to get and, and you know, getting ahead of the game because as soon as the sale hits, you need to place your order because things fly off the shelves like this. Stay tuned. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and your patience that you've had with me. I know I haven't been consistent with uploads, but I promise you I'm trying my best. So <laughs> again, I just want to thank you all for watching and stay tuned because I have a lot of good content coming out. Alrighty. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.